Okay, so this uh, next video lecture is the continuation of our previous video lecture. Um, so this is uh, common types of computer-assisted uh, auditing techniques. Okay, so we have the following uh, types of CATs. We have package programs or generalized audit software or GAS, purpose-written programs or customized audit software, utility programs, system management programs, test data, integrated test facility, or ITF, parallel simulation, and embedded audit modules. So we will discuss each of this as we go along with our next slides. Okay, for our package program or generalized audit software or GAS, so normally these are designed to perform common data processing functions, which includes reading and extracting data from the entity's computer files or database to uh, audit or to test okay, or assess such data. It can also be used for, for performing calculations, selecting samples, and providing reports. So this is how the auditor can use the uh, package program or generalized audit software in auditing um, transactions in a CIS environment client. Okay, second is, what about for the purpose-written programs or customized audit software? So, these are the audit software written by the auditors. Okay, so this is normally for specific audit tasks and are often utilized when the entity CIS is not compatible with the first um, type of CAATs. Okay, so in this case, purpose-written meaning whatever uh, the audit procedures the auditor might have planned so he can um, apply it using this um, CAATs. Okay? So, however, customized audit software is expensive. Okay? So, that is the only uh, setback using this CAAT. So, it will take a longer time to develop also and it needs modification every time an entity will change its systems. However, if uh, it can be used it's it can be effective okay and efficient for the auditor however these are some of the disadvantages so the auditor may also need an IT expert to help him in developing the program okay so another type of CAT is utility programs so these are generally part of the operating system and security software packages so it will provide um, or it was provided or it will be provided by the computer manufacturers already and software vendors. And this will also be used by the entity to perform common data processing functions such as sorting, copying, creating, merging, erasing, and printing files. Okay, so these are some of the features of utility programs. Another type of a uh, CAAT is system management program. So these are enhanced productivity tools that are typically part of a sophisticated operating system environment. So it can do some data retrieval, okay, because it has a software in it that will allow an auditor to retrieve the client of the data quickly and requires minimal training. And uh, code comparison. Software also is included which can be used in a program analysis to determine that the auditor has the same version of the program that the cl client is using. For uh, This is very important so that the auditor will know if this uh, CAAT is suited or appropriate okay, in the case of the client at hand. Another type of CAAT is the test data approach. So this is used normally by the auditor to test the operation of the entity's computer program. So it will involve some uh, set of dummy, or when we say dummy, this is these are fictitious okay, transactions developed by the auditor, and he will process it in the client's computer program to determine whether these controls or internal controls um, which the auditor int intends to test are operating effectively. So this is the purpose of our test data approach. So to ensure that the system properly rejects invalid transactions as well, okay, to determine if that is uh, available in the entity's internal control. So some of the simulated transactions 
may purposely include errors. Okay, so this is intended by the auditor because these are dummy or just fictitious transactions. So basically, the auditor will include errors to test the effectiveness of uh, controls and to determine how such transactions are handled by the entities. Um, program. So, meaning, for example, the auditor can include invalid job numbers or invalid transactions with incorrect coding or unauthorized passwords. So, this will test the effectiveness of the entity's internal control over their um, program. So, when using the test data approach, the, the, the transactions uh, will consist only of those valid and invalid conditions which interest the auditor and only one transaction for each type are needed to be tested. So this is just to make sure that uh, it operates effectively. Okay, So this approach is also used to verify and evaluate the computer's processing capabilities of the entity. Okay. Such techniques, however, do not check the completeness or accuracy of the input and update of data as well as its master files. Okay. So again, this is just to check the operating effectiveness of the controls. So a test deck, so this is, norm, uh, this is part of the test data approach in which uh, this is a set of simulated transactions which are designed to test for the existence and effectiveness of the controls and procedural operations in the entity's computer system. Okay, so this is uh, the function of the test data approach. Okay, another type of CAAT is ITF or Integrated Test Facility. So this is a method that is that introduces also just like the test data of the dummy transactions into the client system. So in the however in this case this is during the live or actual transactions and is usually built into the system during the original uh, design. So it's somewhat uh, similar as mentioned to the test data approach although the this approach do not run simultaneously through the live system. I mean the test data. Okay. So when the test data are processed together with the entity's actual transactions, the auditor should ensure that these transactions or dummy transactions are subsequently identified and eliminated because it will form part of the accounting records of the entity if it will not be eliminated. This is to avoid contamination of control totals, okay? So, that's, the, uh, that's how the, the auditor should do, okay? Uh, the ITF also use, is also used by the auditors to test the procedures contained within the client's program rather than to check its accuracy, okay, and input. So, these are just the, some of the limitations of ITF. So this technique is sometimes referred also to as mini company technique um, because uh, in this case, the auditor will go through the uh, actual um, transaction processing of the tra transactions and enter a dummy or fictitious uh, transactions in it. Okay, so this is for integrated test facility. Another type of CAAT is parallel simulation technique. So normally this method, uh, this is a method that processes the actual client data. So in this case, the auditor will no longer use a dummy data. Okay, so um, here the client's data will be used through the use of our gas and frequently involves the use of auditor's computer as well. Okay, so after processing the data, the auditor later on will compare the output that is generated with the output obtained from the client. Okay, meaning he will uh, process it in his CAAT, in his computer, and then whatever. Or for example, a transaction will be processed by the auditor in his own computer using this um, CAAT. And he will also compare the result or the output of this in the result or output um, uh, created by the entity 
if that is similar. That is what we call parallel simulation technique. Okay, so in this case, um, no, uh, the transactions are taken from the the client itself, meaning this is our, these are the true transactions that occurred. Okay, so here the, the auditor will test if they indeed process it properly. Okay, so this method also will verify the processing of actual transactions, okay, as opposed to the test data and ITF where they use the dummy transactions. Okay, and it will also allow the auditor to verify actual client results. So in other words, this involves the testing of the actual or live data to test the client's program effectiveness. Okay, so the next type of CAT is embedded audit modules. Okay, so here, these are sometimes built into the entity's computer system. So the purpose of this is to provide data for later use by the auditor. Okay, so we have here the, the different uh, examples of embedded audit modules, okay, where, uh, where the auditor can use, okay, in auditing the client. So we have the snapshots. So this involves taking a picture of the transaction as it flows through the computer system. Such a, uh, so, uh, but uh, this technique uh, will permit the auditor to track the data and evaluate the computer processes that is applied to the data. So that's how snapshots uh, will help the auditor. Another is system control audit review file. So this involves embedding audit software modules within the application system. The purpose of this is to provide continuous monitoring of the system's transaction. Another is transaction tagging. So this technique will identify, or this is uh, an identifier which will provide a transaction with a special designation is added to the transaction record. So this tag is often used to allow logging of transactions or snapshots activities. Only those um, identified transactions will be uh, tagged. Another is audit hooks. So they are exits okay, in an entity softwares that allow an auditor to insert commands for audit processing. Okay. So again, this is embedded in the entity's computer program already. So audit hooks also, these are appropriate points in which the client software or in the client software. So this audit hook will allow the auditor to modify the software in which he will insert specific commands to accumulate totals or other Wise, he can also manipulate data for audit purposes. Okay, so that's how audit hooks is um, used. So lastly, audit automation. So in this case, um, the increasing power and sophistication of personal computers, particularly the laptops, so this resulted in other tools for the auditors to use. Okay. So, in some cases, laptops will be linked to the auditor's main computer. So, this is basically auditing with the computer. Okay, such techniques are referred to as audit automation. So, this will include expert system use in the design of the audit programs, in audit planning, as well as in risk assessment. Another is um, audit automation will also be the tool to evaluate the client's risk management procedure and uh, electronic working papers, okay, which provide for the direct extraction of data for the client from the client's computer records, and lastly, uh, audit automation also corporate and financial modeling programs for use of predictive audit tests. So this is how audit automation makes um, the auditor uh, do his uh, audit procedures as well as in uh, understanding as well okay, how uh, a CIS environment you know, will be um, audited. Okay? So those are the different common types of CAATs that the auditor can use okay, to aid him in auditing CIS environment.